Well, hello everyone. I'm here today with Cautionary Tale Sarah again. And even though everything that Cautionary Tale Sarah does is the wrong thing, she told me about an idea that she had that, so far anyway, actually sounds pretty good. So, Cautionary Tale Sarah, why don't you tell them what you told me? Well, the other day, I was having all kinds of problems. Life was like too hard and I just wanted to totally give up. But then I saw these inspirational pictures and videos online that were supposed to give me hope and motivation. And that gave me an idea of something that I could make for your children's sermon for today. Wow. I have to admit that that seems like a great idea. You made an inspiring video for kids for when they have a hard day to help them stay motivated and encouraged, knowing how God is with them and helping them when things are sad or bad. Oh, no, not at all. Oh, no. What did you do? Well, those videos and pictures that I saw were like so unrealistic and cheesy. When things are bad or sad, the best thing to do is to give up and despair because everything is truly hopeless. So I did the opposite and I made a de-motivational video. Here, take a look. But no, no. Today is a new day full of possibilities, infinite possibilities of ways that things can go wrong. Full of possible burdens too great for you to bear. So as you wake up this morning with thoughts of seizing the day, just roll over and go back to bed. Because it's not worth it. When things seem too hard and things don't go the way you wanted, know deep down inside that you should probably give up and never try again. You want to get up early, work out, eat healthy, be nicer to people, be the best that you can be, and accomplish your dreams? Let's be serious. We both know that's not going to happen. They say when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. But that's not you. You are not going anywhere. When people are mean to you or say hurtful things to you, you probably deserved it. When you see people succeed where you failed, it's because they're better than you are. So just stay on the couch, give up, and quit trying. Because what's the point? It's over. Okay, what on earth was that? Yeah, you know what? Honestly, I blame myself. I should have known by now that you were gonna do something like this. Well, say what you want, but I bet that there are people watching this that have felt that way all the time. Things are too hard and they are totally ready to give up. Well, honestly, yes, that is true. We all feel that way sometimes, even the most faithful people, even the people like the prophet Elijah in our Bible story for today. He's been dealing with really hard things for a long time. People have been mean to him and he feels all alone. And he's sad and he's ready to give up. So what is wrong with what I did? Well, it is okay to feel that way sometimes and to be honest that we feel that way. But when Elijah is sad, he talks to God about it. And when Elijah does that, God strengthens him and comforts him and God is with him during the hard times. 
Okay, but that doesn't mean that it's going to get easier or that all our problems will suddenly go away if we just try a little harder, like in those real motivational videos. True. And that's why when things get hard or sad, the message isn't just try harder or do it all on your own, but rather trust and rely on God even more. Tell him how things are really going and what you need and know that God is with you even in the tough times and look for his grace and blessings to help you get through it. Anyway, I hope that helps you all understand the sermon just a little bit better. Goodbye, Goodbye everyone. everyone.